Yeah, my name is Kevin Jennings. I'm a wildlife biologist with the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation. And like Tim said, I'm just going to give a quick update on the bald eagle status on Long Island to follow up, I think, uh, on Mike Scheibel's talk a couple of years ago at the conference. Um, the slide does say Long Island, but um, most of the focus is going to be on Nassau and Suffolk County, um, where most of the action is. Uh, I'll mention a little bit about the city part of Long Island, but it's a different region, so I don't get out there uh, all that often. So. so bald eagles, they were never really com all that common on Long Island, and uh, between 1800 and, and 1977, there was really only one documented case of a bald eagle nest on Long Island. So when you consider bald eagles in New York State, Long Island really was never part of the conversation. And um, starting back in the 19th century, we, they started to see a decline um, due to habitat loss as, as uh, settlements were expanding and persecution from people shooting and killing eagles. Um, so that was the beginning and it kept going through the 19th century. Um, and uh, right around the turn of the 20th century with the use of DDT, bald eagles in New York State um, were near their end. Um, and by 19, late 1960s, they were nearly, all bald eagle nests were nearly gone from the state. So DEC, along with partners at Cornell and US Fish and Wildlife Service, um, came up with a restoration plan. And by 1988, they had, um, they had reached their interim goal of 10 nesting territories. And that was done by bringing in nearly 200 eaglets from mainly Alaska um, to uh, um, you know, uh, basically bring them in, set them up in historic locations within New York, and, uh, and, and see how they do. Um, they, they started to uh, succeed, and by 1988, the, the eagle population had reached its goal from the recovery plan of 40 nesting territories in New York State. So as the, the, the project was successful, um, in 1999, the state downlisted the bald eagle um, from endangered to threatened, and then by 2007, the uh, Fish and Wildlife Service removed bald eagle from the Federal Endangered Species Act. And so it was about this time, right around when the bald eagles were, were being delisted from the Federal Endangered Species Act, that um, during the 2016 Christmas bird count, I'm sorry, 2006 Christmas bird count, um, a bald eagle nest was found on Gardner's Island. And for a number of years, you could see that was really the only bald eagle nest that was known to be on Long Island. Um, there's not much known about the productivity of that nest, but it's, it's, it's believed to have been active um, throughout uh, that time where you see that's the, the only nest here on the, the up until 2013. So then in 2013, you see there's another nest that, that pops up, and then the, you know, over the last five years or so, uh, the, nests have, the number of nests have just continued to increase. So as far as I know, there are eight bald eagle nests on Long Island um, within Nassau and Suffolk County. So it's not to say that there are only eight nests. There could definitely be more nests on Long Island. Like I said, there, there, there's been breeding behavior seen um, in different areas, but nests haven't been located. So it's not always easy to find nests. Um, most of the efforts in New York um, have been focused doing aerial surveys in some of the harder to reach areas upstate where access is limited and the sites are remote. So hoping to get some flight time this year um, to check some of the locations where we've gotten reports of bald eagles um, on, on multiple occasions to try to locate some nests. So this, most of the, this information is, uh, you know, you could find this stuff out on eBird or if you're on the listserv, a birding listserv, you, you sort of uh, can piece this stuff together. But so I'm not really, there's no real big secret here about where these nests are. But essentially this here is the, the first nest that was found in 2006. Um, by 2013, there was the, a nest that was located at the Wertheim Wildlife Refuge in Shirley. Um, and then uh, just uh, another year later, there's at the Mashomic Preserve out on Shelter Island, there was a nest. And in 2015, 
back in uh, Mastic at the William Floyd Estate, which is a National Park Service property. So one of the things that these four, the early nests have in common um, are that, you know, these are, as far as Long Island's concerned, these are pretty, you know, relatively isolated, relatively well-forested tracts um, of land where uh, there's not much human disturbance. The next three nests that started to show up, or actually in 2015, the next nest that pops up shows up here in uh, the Oakdale area at the Bayard Cutting Arboretum. And uh, obviously this area, a little bit more developed, a little less uh, wooded, and, um, and, and a lot more accessible by the public. Now, so it's, it's not to say that there are, um, there are definitely other remote stretches of habitat on Long Island where you might find bald eagle nests. So it's not to say that there's a complete shift going on here um, to less, uh, less forested, more disturbed sites, but there are, there's definitely some evidence that they're, they're starting to use habitats that are not as suitable. In 2017, you have these two nests show up in northern Nassau County, in Great Neck, and in Kings Point. And just this past winter, a nest uh, was being built in Centerport. So again, areas that are a lot less forested, um, showing up within visibility of homes, um, really easily accessible to, uh, to the public. So where else could they be on Long Island? Um, so we get reports from people. We, you know, I, I, could, I look at you know, some of the credible eBird records. And so I get the sense that there's, there's likely or there could be up to an, you know, another eight pairs of, of, of bald eagle um, nesting on Long Island. So the first real credible um, evidence uh, just this past winter out on Kalis Pond in the Meacox Bay area, um, there were some observations of adult bald eagles uh, exhibiting breeding behavior. So this location out here uh, is definitely a possibility and we'd like to check out um, to see if we can find a nest. Um, then you have areas like uh, Stony Brook Harbor, um, this, the Laurel, Co uh, Laurel Hollow or Cove Neck um, in northern uh, Nassau County, in uh, northern Oyster Bay. Um, st um, sorry, this Stony Brook Harbor, uh, Lake Ronkonkoma, uh, and even uh, the mouth of the Peconic over here around Flanders, where there's been, over the years, there have been observations of adults, uh, pairs of adults perched together in trees at various times of the year. So, uh, poss good possibility that there are nesting pairs um, over in these areas. You also get a lot of observations of both adult and juvenile bald eagles around Hempstead Lake State Park. Not much habitat there, but it is possible that some of the uh, stretches of uh, Hempstead Lake State Park where people don't often get into, um, you know, there's definitely a possibility that there could be a nest there. Or even somewhere around uh, Jones Beach area, they do get a lot of um, observations, both adult and juvenile bald eagles. Uh, not much habitat, as obviously, as you go down to the Barrier Island, but, you know, potentially, like I said, as these sort of newer nests are showing up in areas we don't necessarily expect, so it's quite possible that you know, there might be nests around here. And even up here in uh, Wading River, just north of here, there's some, been some observations of adult bald eagles um, showing up. Um, so I, I do want to mention a little about New York City. I didn't include Staten Island on the map, but in 2015 there were uh, two nests documented on islands around Staten Island. Uh, one of which was presumed to be active. Um, and you even get some in northern Queens at Flushing Meadows Park. There's r recent reports of uh, you know, pairs of, a pair of bald eagles hanging around there, um, around Flushing Meadows and Flushing Bay. And then in Prospect Park in Brooklyn, there's um, also been sightings of adult bald eagles hanging around. So definitely possibilities. And definitely pushing towards the extreme of uh, living up against uh, human disturbance, um, which is you know, not typical for um, where you would normally find bald eagles nesting. So what does it mean for the future? I guess, so for the, we're, we're likely to see bald eagles and ospreys probably um, competing for access to nesting territories. So in fact, in 2015, the 
the pair that showed up at Bayard Cutting Arboretum um, was, uh, you know, they, they showed up, the bald eagle pair showed up, there was a nesting pair of ospreys, and there was some interaction where bald eagles and ospreys were fighting over territory. Um, ultimately, that nest wasn't successful that year for the bald eagles, but you definitely see um, there's definitely likely going to be increased competition for nesting territories between ospreys and bald eagles as they push in. Historically, ospreys have, you know, Long Island has been uh, you know, the, the ospreys turf. So uh, bald eagles, and they also have a head start in terms of population, but likely the larger bald eagle is, is going to have some impact on, on, on osprey nesting here on the island. Also, um, since bald eagles are going to be nesting in more, or seem to be nesting in more uh, po uh, densely populated areas, it's likely that you know, there may be more uh, disturbance to the nests and maybe more failed nest attempts or as they start figuring out what are these areas where they can actually nest. Some of these areas may turn up to not be all that successful after all. So some of these nests that have showed up in the densely populated areas, they're new, they're recent, and haven't had many years of attempts, but they, have, you know, they haven't been uh, successful as far as we know recently. And then the last thing I just want to add is that it's, there's a good possibility that um, the bald eagles gets considered for delisting um, as part of the New York State Endangered Species Law. Uh, this happened with the osprey. As the osprey recovery happened, it was downgraded from endangered to threatened and then off the list. And just going with the trends that the bald eagles in New York State are seeing, it's likely that the next list revision um, includes a, uh, the consideration for, for bald eagle to come off that list, So, which is a good thing. Um, and uh, I, that's really all, all I have. Um, I'll leave some time for questions at the end, and, and uh, thanks a lot. So let's actually get uh, questions uh, for, for Kevin now so that you have them in your head. Let's get them out. <laughs> um, hi, Kevin. Thanks. That was great. I'm wondering how far do the adults uh, range from an active nest when they're feeding and whatnot? Um, so dur during the breeding season, they'll, they'll likely defend a territory that's, you know, a square kilometer, two square kilometers, somewhere around that. Um, so they're, you know, they're actively defending those those areas that are pretty tight around the nest. Obviously, during the winter months, when they're not defending those territories, they spend a lot more time further away from the nest. Um, they still spend time here on Long Island. Um, often, you'll, there are still sightings of bald eagles spending, spending winters here. Um, but then, you know, they'll move around where the food is available. Uh, Daniel Carpenter again. Uh, possible additional sites might include the Nisquag River Valley north of Jericho Turnpike. Another possible site might be Comset State Park, mm -hmm. and also the River Valley, Cold Spring Harbor, St. John's Lake, Franklin Lake area. There may be, a, there may be something going on there, and possible, all the highly speculative Shoe Swamp area in, um, in uh, northern Nassau County. Yeah, thanks. Um, definitely, you know, we encourage people to contact us when they have sightings of, especially of adult bald eagles, especially if these you have, are These are sightings in all these areas? Yeah. So, yeah. so especially the, at, you know, around January, February, if you see birds carrying sticks, that's a very good chance that they are building a nest. So any of those types of sightings are definitely welcome. Yeah, and if we, are, if we have time to get up into a helicopter this year and check out some areas, those are definitely areas we are considering looking at. If you want to see a nest in action, just go to the Centerport Post Office mm -hmm. and look north across the uh, pond where the Chalet Motor Inn is. And the, uh, there's a nest you can see right from the street. It's 60 feet up in a big tree, and everyone at Centerport knows about the nest now. Yeah, yeah. So I know, no, no big secrets here, no reveals. <laughs> Sorry. All right, thanks, Kevin. <laughs>